today I'm on a quest to to review bad games that will be that are very shit and pretty unlikely to get rid of this mess. What game do you think of when you first hear of the 3DS? I honestly have to say that the 3DS has a very good library, but I have to say there are games that kind of don't stand out, and I have to say there are some regurgitating trilogies of video games that I have to list out of it because um some games on the 3DS aren't very good and there are some remakes of of old cartridges which include of Sonic and other <laughs> Alter Beast things and I have to say Son Sega 3D Classic Collection let's pop this fucker in right now and get on with this intro is nothing special it's just basically a rip off like Nothing's really special about this intro. I have to say, when I first look at it, it feels pretty childish. And I think it looks like a two-year-old made it. And it's like a year two person from Moober Bay Public School made it by an animation. And it looks pretty godful. And I don't think anyone would like to watch this intro anyway. No wonder why people doesn't want to play this game anyway. Because it's so weird. It, I am time for ready for this. For this 1960s nightmare. You already noticed from the from the title from the menu that it looks so bland and boring. I have to say that I don't really like this title screen as much. And I know that it's a collection of the all the the classic Sega games, but they could have made it more appealing, like in the Kirby Collection games or the uh, Super Mario All Stars on the Super Nintendo or Super Mario Three D All Stars on the Switch. They could have added a much more better, clean menu than this. What a frickin' disgrace. What a rip-off. I notice when you also play Power Drift that there are some very bad problems about the game, which I also need to recover in this topic, as it says, touch control. Like, I know this is a console, but I know that the console is made by touching and using a stylus, but and playing games on a handheld, but the thing is, it, it doesn't really serve any purpose since there's a D-pad and buttons. Get a grip, Nintendo, or Sega. Nintendo and Sega, they're both very good companies, so I don't care about the mechanics. It's difficult. It's also time to me to investigate one other thing. The fact that they added a bunny at the on the top screen, and my god, does the Sega screen my god, does the 44 point for free ratio look so short. I know this is on console, but... And what, what is with these system settings? They honestly think that Sega and Nintendo thought they did. They have a good idea. But honestly, I have to say... Screen looks small. They added Sonic Spin Dash, I guess. But they could have added at least even better games. Like, uh, Sonic 2 or... Let me say, uh, Sonic 3. What about Sonic and Knuckles? What about all those other classics that everyone just forgot about? Where are they? I don't know, no sure, they just went in the dust, maybe. And I'm so pissed off that they are. But why the fuck would they be bothered to buy this game? Because it has all the classics, but without the all-time Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Sonic 3, and the Sonic and Knuckles, but I have to say, that's shit. Another thing that worries me is that when you select a game, like, why did they even add the selects, game select, in the, the options, in the pause areas? Like, why did, what, if I made a game where there's like a collection of all the Sega games in just one big collection, and I said, oh, Let's add a, a, a select screen. Let's add a game select screen on when you went uh, when you pause the game. But in this game, you so why you just quit playing Sonic and just play Galaxy Force 2 instead? Like, who gives a fuck? There's not really much I can still say about this game. Simply put, because I don't really think that this game is very fun as much to play. When you're uh, a teen, it's considering that you're interested in all those other games, like in like Super Mario 64, S Super Mario RPG Legends Seven Stars, 
Castlevania, Mega Man, and Contra. You you wouldn't be bothered to even play Contra anyway. But I have to say there is something that has to be done about this game, which I have to put it away. Which I have there's something that has to be done before service because I obviously have for more before my gaming service because this is having to be a very tough. This has to be the toughest game I've had to review yet, because because I also play games that are pretty fun. Apparently, every other game is fun, and apparently I need a game that stands out as a good leader. Apparently, for Sega Classic Collections, it's not the right answer.